Reza, you started from the bottom to grow what is now, without exaggeration, one of the country's most successful contingency fee law firms. What do you think were some of the biggest transformational moments in your journey towards growth? The first transformational thing I would tell you is I realized that it all started with me as a leader. And as the firm continued to grow, the more it required me as a leader to set the example, the more it required me to take accountability and take responsibility for the things that weren't happening in the firm that, you know, I, I could very easily finger point. It really is a top top down sort of approach. I think as lawyers, we, lo we lose sight of, you know, we got the practice of law, which is our profession, but we're also as law firm owners responsible to run a successful business and to create a work environment that really encourages and empowers and, and keeps engaged those team members that you decide to bring on. So top first one is it's really top down. The second one is really finding the people that share those core values, that can live by those core values and understand why the firm was started in the first place and what it is that we do. You know, you can have a, a C minus player on your team who leaves the firm and is an A plus player, player someone else and vice versa. And so I think the environment really matters. I think the framework and the platform that law firm owners are providing their teammates within their organizations makes all the difference in the world. The book is titled The Lawyer as CEO. And I wanna read a quote that stood out to me, uh, which you said, I could see that the single biggest indicator of success for a law firm in this rapidly evolving legal landscape is the mindset of the firm owner. And to me, kind of justified or explained why the book is titled The Lawyer as CEO. Could you share with us how you got to that space? Yeah, I think we forget as business owners the power of our words, the power of our actions, and the power of our mindset, right? So I at one time had a mindset of, for me, why is this happening to me? Why are people leaving? Why do we have a revolving door? Um, and woe is me and finger pointing. And I realized like that doesn't solve problems. I, I, I want to solve problems. And so if you come from the perspective of woe is me, I started this business and now all these people and changing, like you're not going to win. Yeah. I mean, you're going to just be stuck in that. But when you come from the perspective and mindset of accountability, like total, total accountability, life becomes much easier and the solutions um, become a lot more vivid, right? So, you know, you can't be an absentee owner. You can't, when you hit some level, say, hey, I'm gonna check out for a little bit. I mean, you have to be involved, you have to be engaged. And this mindset of, of a total accountability for yourself will then trickle down to accountability to everyone else that's on the team. And it's an incredibly powerful thing that I don't think I ever appreciated or noticed, but when it happens, it's real magic because everyone else holds themselves accountable. Everyone else wants to hold them to that standard. And so I think um, the, the mindset sets the tone for everything else that happens. The mindset of the owner sets the tone for everything else that's going to happen.